Okay, guys, this video is about uh, ASA and uh, Windows Server configuration for Radius Roll. I will configure it and I'll test it. And uh, let's go and start. First thing first, we're going to go to the server and we're going to go on and add uh, the role. And uh, let's go to add role. And then we're just going to add the role. It's going to take a moment and uh, populate, of course. We're going to go on and choose network policy and access service. Pretty much everything is next, 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 except this one option, network policy server. We have to choose that. And next, next. I'm going to take a moment to install. So I will pause the video until it's finished. As you see, the installation is still in process. And it's going to take a moment more till it finalizes. Okay, we are almost there, configuring. While this is collecting installation result, please keep in mind this should be done in lab environment. Do not try it in production environment. We don't want to have you break something down or bring the system down. There we go to finish up and everything is installed so basically the first thing we need to do is we'll wait a moment till it populates so give it a minute because if we don't wait and here we click on uh, NPS we're not going to see much so we have to wait or worst case scenario we could always close close it and then turn back on the service man after a quick pause I went on and brought the service manager back got the server manager is coming up still collecting I'm running this on an old machine so just for lab purposes so I don't have the top speed right here anyways first thing first we're gonna go and MPS we're gonna go on and register it Register the server in Active Directory. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, in order to configure this, uh, the register server on this box, we have to. We will go on and expand the radius client servers. And then uh, we're going to right click on. Uh, Radius client, and we're going to add new client, radius client. So basically, let's go and give it a name which we call our ASA, for example. Since I'm configuring it for ASA, I'm going to go on and client ASA. I'll be like, well, what's my client? Well, my client is the ASA. So let's go on and add the IP for the ASA. Remember, this is the IP for the ASA, not for the NTP. So that's my say IP and then leave the rest default and let's go on and uh, put a secret and I'm gonna call it Cisco because it's just lab environment so this is our shared secret so when I'm configuring the rest it has to match on the Cisco AC firewall end as well so there we go we put our client is ASA and our uh, IP is the AC IP Click OK. OK, after we went on and uh, add the client, we're going to go on and click on the policy. And in policy, let's go on and uh, right click on connection policy. And we're going to create new. So let's go and uh, call this policy for. Uh, since it's being created for ASA, I'm going to call it ASA Radius. And let's go on and click Next. And then uh, add a condition. The condition would be uh, some friendly name, client friendly. What kind of condition? Let's see. What are... Let's go add this. 
and uh, let's go and call it client SA. So this way, uh, this is uh, client SA. So that way, we will know who is our client, and our client is the ASA firewall, which we previously configure the very first step when we add the 172.16.10.1 IP4. So we're going to say this is a client ASA. Anyways, I'm going to click on next, next, and uh, next. And let's go on and change the attribute attribute to to usernames. Okay. Looking good. Click on finish. So the last thing we need to do is we're gonna add on the network uh, policy. So that way we know who's authorized. And add this and uh, for network policy, let's go on and call it since it's for ASA policy, let's call it ASA radius as we name it already in the other policy as well, so that way it would be matching. Okay, and here let's go on and It's going to add this uh, condition. The condition will be let's go and add what what uh, users, what kind of uh, who will be our target uh, users or uh, machines that we would like to allow. So in this case, I'm just since it's going to be more like a VPN, like uh, SSH, etc., etc. Authentication. We want to have it integrated with AD. So I'm going to use the user group and then gonna add uh, let's say let's say domain users and I will also add domain admin just in case one of my account which I'm testing might be a domain admin as well so I want both of them to work Okay, we're going to say grant access and let's go on and choose an encrypted PAP and SPAP. Nope. Next. Next. Finish. There we go. Now the server is ready to be uh, configured on. Uh, the server is ready, the radius server is ready, but now the rest of the configuration has to be done on the ASA firewall. So I'm going to go to the ASA firewall and as you see, I went to configuration, I went to device management, then I'm going to go on and add the ASA, the radius server. Let's say, let's go on and uh, name it radius and the rest let's go on and leave it for now we can leave it default and uh, click ok let's go on and add the the server to select group let's go on and tell it where is the server for example where is this um, this uh, a Windows Server, where is it located? So we're going to go on and via IP that server IP is, as we see it uh, it is right there, that's the IP, that's how I RDP to it so it is 10, 10 16, 10 7 so I'm going to say this is the server IP and let's go on and type our our secret, which was Cisco Cisco, Cisco, OK, apply, a timeout on me, so apply, I'm going to click on save as well, just want to make sure my information is saved. Now, just for testing purposes, I'm going to go on and uh, enable 
enable this radius on uh, on uh, SSH and uh, maybe turn that as well. And I can enable it on ASDM or even if I want on here as well. But it's important always use local when the server group fails. So it's important to check these. You don't want to be locked out. It's not difficult to crack it, but just to be on the safe side. I'm going to go on and enable uh, the radius on, uh, on SSH and on Telnet. Let's apply. There we go, it has been applied. I just saved it. NAD, I have several accounts, so one of them is going to be my user account. Uh, user account. Okay, I'm going to go to the user account. I can create a new one, but I have one called Wahid. I'm going to go on and use this account. Just a user account and that's it and by the way our uh, registration gonna show in here members look in there it shows the registration we did for the radius in PS that's member of this group anyways let's go on and test this you're gonna go on and test the weight account on um, on SSH let's go and get patty already have this on so the IP for our ASA is right here I'm just gonna go on and switch to it open yes why enable there we go now we have it all configured and ready to go Thank you for watching and please keep in mind do not try this on production environment even though it's not that risky still you want to be careful thanks have a good day